It's not something that you just jump something on. It's not like a truck. It's in a series of tubes. It is so complicated. Hi, this is Sean dropping off my daughter at a Halloween school event, and here is your 60 seconds on social media. We are okay. Those three words dominated Facebook the morning after Superstorm Sandy left large swaths of the East Coast devastated. Millions turned to social media for updates from friends and loved ones, as well as real-time news, photos, and video. Seven years ago, when Hurricane Katrina tore through the Gulf Coast, Facebook was still restricted to dorm rooms, and Twitter was a year away from launch. It was text messaging that proved the most reliable way to keep people in touch during and after that storm. Today, even emergency services and public officials use social media to pass along vital information quickly. Unfortunately, the frenetic pace of news and social media during a major event often makes it easy for misinformation to spread just as fast. From fake photos to false rumors, it can be hard to tell what's real and what's not, as some news organizations learned this week the hard way. Speaking of learning, you'd think brands would have learned by now not to exploit tragedies, but this week's verified viral shows that's not the case. When American Apparel advertised a Hurricane Sandy sale, irate users took to social media to publicly pummel the trendy retailer for its lack of taste and insensitivity. We're always tasteful at Freshwire. Like us on Facebook and join us here next week for 60 Seconds of Social Media.